you've got $60,000 to spend or more on your next full-size off-road pickup truck, you're gonna end up with one of these two. That's right, the Ford Raptor and the Ram Power Wagon represent the apex of what these truck makers bring to the table. And in this video, through a mix of low speed driving and high speed driving on varied terrain, we're gonna show you what these trucks excel at and what they're not so suited for. We've got the perfect weather to do it. <laughs> or we will, as soon as the storm moves out, we'll have no dust, a little bit of mud, maybe a lot. Look at us sensitive Californians. Anyway, before we get started, make sure to hit subscribe and visit edmunds.com to find your perfect truck. Though these trucks cost about the same, they're built for two very different off-road goals. That means we have to think of this video not like a traditional comparison, but rather two reviews in one. Based on the F-150, the current version of the Raptor has been around for a few years. Though it has a smaller engine than the Power Wagon, the Raptor's twin-turbo 3.5 liter V6 packs more oomph. Not only that, the extra two gears in its 10-speed automatic transmission give that output more chances to work. It rides on 35-inch tires, but has slightly less ground clearance than the Power Wagon. Where the Ram gets its approach angle from standing tall, the Raptor's comes from the construction of its front end. It's meant to clear berms and sand dunes. The interior features big controls that are well-labeled and logically placed. Knobs are large and easy to reach. One of the best interior design features are the paddle shifters. They work as they would on any sports car because they allow good hand placement on the wheel and also good control of the transmission. It truly reflects the sport-forward design philosophy of this truck. The new Power Wagon is, at its heart, a Ram 2500 crew cab truck with the same V8 and 8-speed automatic you'll find elsewhere in the lineup. What's special here is its off-road suspension still delivers great towing and payload capabilities, and then it's got this factory-installed winch, something no other truck offers. All these features add up to an off-road truck that's ready to work. The Power Wagon's tall ride height and its 33-inch tires give it plenty of clearance and strong approach and departure angles, so there's no worry about dragging a bumper on an incline. Inside, we get a lot of the redesigned interior features that we love in the Ram 1500. It has this beautiful dash, great switches, and an impressively clear center display. But they didn't upgrade everything. First of all, this cab isn't as large as a 1500's crew cab. They also didn't bring over its new steering wheel. This old school design doesn't telescope and the buttons aren't nearly as nice. It has these inconveniently placed gear select buttons that are designed for towing, which is nice when you're going up a grade, you'll want to limit your gears, but these finicky buttons are a pain. I'd rather have shift paddles. You ready to do this? Let's rock. Well, now we're heading up to Randsburg. We're taking some of these muddy, dirty roads. Raptor has a mission statement that's near and dear to my heart, and that is speed. But uh, let's just let's just dig into it a little bit. <laughs> let's thread the needle through here. <laughs> what happened there? I couldn't find the wipers fast enough. What I just love about this truck is that you can go this fast on road, this rough, and really have a good time. This is what the truck is for, and it's so good at that. Suspension setup is fairly traditional. Leaf springs in the rear, though you have internal bypass Fox shocks at all four corners. Rears are remote reservoir, and those are gonna really help with the durability that the shocks need with doing constant whoops and constant washboard. That jittering really does a number on them. Now, you only have a locking rear diff, not in the front. It's electronically controlled, as are the shocks, as is the four-wheel drive system, and you can control a lot of those settings through drive modes down here. Right now, I have it parked in the Baja setting. That gives me four high, and it gives me a lot of uh, control and traction over this road. Dan, how you doing back there? Loving it. This V8 sounds awesome. <laughs> big one, big one. Uh, <laughs> did I hear you right that the uh, collision mitigation is going off? Yeah, you threw up a wall of water in the collision. Uh, avoidance system detected it and thought it was a car or something. <laughs> That's great. The Ram Power Wagon is a three-quarter ton truck with a six and a half foot bed and a crew cab, which makes it a really good work truck. It's got a solid axle in back with coil springs, which is a Ram exclusive. It's also got a solid axle up front, and it's got an extra articulation link and a disconnecting stabilizer bar, which allows the front axle to really flex in uh, rough going. Um, it's also got front and rear locking differentials. You can think of it as a three-quarter ton truck version of a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. 
The Power Wagon's beefy suspension is controlled by Bilstein monotube shocks. And on this road, it feels stiff, but it also feels in control. You able to keep up? No problem. I may be down a few cylinders, but I think I got more power. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one if that wasn't enough. <laughs> hang on there, hang on. Yeehaw! This is the best. Oh, here come the whoops. This is something else. Big one, big one. <laughs> well, let's get out of here. Back on the road. <laughs> hey, the loops are over, yay! Finally, I was getting beat up. One thing this Raptor does well, it should be able to soak up this washboard. I'm not so sure about Dan back there in the power wagon though. Uh oh, washboard roads. My favorite. Not. There's a car wash just ahead. I gotta say, I really feel for these shocks right now. Hey, this is what they're born to do. Oh man, the rear end of that thing is dancing. <laughs> yeah, this is just a uh... uh, vibration machine. <laughs> yeah, so you have to take it up to about 60 before it disappears. Now oh, it's a deep one. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of uh, wide open space in front of us. You think that uh, lock and rear diff in that thing can let you have any fun? Uh, I'd like to find out. All right, and punch it. Oh, this is a big understeering. It feels like a donut, but I don't think it looks like a donut. It looks like a croissant or something. Ah, stability control's coming on. All right, let's engage high school mode. This is what the truck was made for right here. Let's flick it. <laughs> oh, I miss high school. <laughs> truck stuff. Uh, I think the Raptor had the edge today. I wonder how it'll do on the trail in the morning. We're here, right? And we're at this turnout here? Well, the rain's gone, the wind persists. Mm -hmm. The rain also kind of modified our plans. At the outset, we wanted to be more technical yeah. with our analysis, but the rain just decided we should have fun. And we did. <laughs> it's a good time over Absolutely. through mud, over wash. At, it never gets old. Had a good clip too, let's yeah. say. <laughs> at times. The rain also washed out the trail we wanted to take. So yeah. right now we're looking for a new one that is a bit more technical. So we, where we can show off the articulation and the features that sort of separate these two trucks. Like for example, this has a disconnectable front sway bar. That one doesn't. The Ram has front and rear locking differentials. The Raptor is just a rear locker. And then there's also the issue of dimensions. This is a larger truck, except for width, where it's actually quite a bit narrower than the Raptor. The Raptor has a stadium super truck like stance. In a highly unscientific experiment, we lined up the Raptor to the driver's side tire track of the Ram, and you can see a quick visualization of just how much wider the Raptor is. Let's find the trail. All right, let's do it. Power Wagon's four-wheel drive system is really easy to engage using this lever. Once you're in four-wheel drive high, you can lock the rear differential by pressing this button here, and you can lock the front and rear together by pressing the button just above it. You can also disconnect the front stabilizer bar with a touch of a button to improve articulation in rocky terrain 
or to just improve ride comfort on uneven surfaces and washboard. For four wheel drive, you have this dial here and that gets you from two high to four all wheel drive, which goes back and forth between two and four wheel drive. This truck only can lock the rear diff and you do that by just tapping the center button of that dial. There is a trail control system. It's kind of like a low speed off-road cruise control. You turn that on by pressing a button here next to the stability control. Now you do have a trailer backup control. Beneath that you have a trailer brake controller. It's nice that the Raptor comes with those features or offers them, but it certainly can't tow as much as the Power Wagon, but nor is it trying to do the same thing. That's okay. Why tow your toys to the off-road park when your towing vehicle is the toy? There's just enough space here for this truck to fit through, just enough. But what happens is I don't get a lot of room for error. So if I'm coming around a corner, there's a big rock in the center. I gotta be uh, very decisive about how I tackle it. Like this right here, I gotta try to squeeze between these two. And the tread width on this truck is just so much wider than that Ram. We're coming across rutted roads that don't really have like an even thing for us to climb up. You have to drive the truck straight up to it and then Hit, the, hit it with a tire and then just crawl over it. And that can exhibit, or at least show, how the clearances on these trucks work. Dan, how you feeling back there over those rocks? You know, if I take my time and pick a good line, it's not a problem. But what do you mean, what do you mean take your time? I thought we were supposed to be going fast. Well, I'm doing that too. But every once in a while, there's a rock. There's a lot of rocks that get exposed when the water runs through and you know, they can take out your tire in a heartbeat. So you gotta be really careful that you don't clip the edge and rip a gash in your sidewall. Probably gonna have to hit a uh, little bit. No harm, no foul, right? That's what's nice about having a truck like this. You know, if you've got a lot of capability, we're not exceeding its limits or even reaching them. You know, this truck is really tall, certainly narrower than the Raptor. Um, the widest point, though, is these mirrors. These mirrors are made for towing, and they stick way, way out. But I can press this button here if I have a tight squeeze and uh, gain myself a foot of clearance at least just by doing that. Visibility is not too bad over the hood because Ram Signature Styling has the hood dipped down over low mounted headlights and that actually increases my sight lines when I'm trying to see the corners and pick my way through the rocks like I am right now. The Raptors, visibility is, is pretty strong uh, you know, when you're on this flat surface like this. These shocks are doing a, a good job of keeping this thing composed over ruts. Uh, this truck still bounces around a lot, but I'll say I've never felt like I've had an issue trying to control the truck. I just gotta say too, these seats are really comfortable. Hey, straight away. <laughs> That's what I want to be doing. I want to be hauling through this wash. Let's go faster, Dan. Come on, let's go. Yeah, that is kind of a sporty truck. I mean, that's that's the difference. You know, this thing's built to work. That one's built to play. A uh, nice little water crossing here. Let's see if we drag our tails as we go through. I'm worried about that exhaust tip. You're good, you're good. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Something looks interesting up ahead. This could be the technical stuff we've been looking for. I think you're right. <laughs> this looks oh, all right. Yeah, this does look pretty good. Is your car right down through Yeah, I think just straddle the, the gully a little bit. Uh -huh. And there's a little bit of a shelf at the bottom, but I think if I go slow, I can make it. Right, you're up first. OK. All right, I think we're ready. Or I'm ready. I don't know about Carlos. Uh, I gotta put it in low range first. Neutral. Back to drive. Pretty easy to control speed here, but I sure don't want to uh, drop off this ledge up here and smack something too hard. Slow and steady. Low, low. There's this ledge. Ease it over. Ah, good. Didn't hit anything. 
or nothing hit me. Piece of cake. Absolutely. And now it's your turn. All right, let's put it in neutral. Engage four low. I'm actually gonna use the front facing camera here too to find my way down the hill. Now's the time where my ideal seat position, which is super low, is not too ideal. No problems. Piece of cake. I thought this was supposed to be hard. <laughs> well, that didn't look like a thing. That, that wasn't a thing. It wasn't a thing? Like you say in grade school, that was a pizza cake. <laughs> I know how to make it a thing. Yeah, how's that? We go back up. We work against gravity rather than with it. All right. I go first. Yeah, that's what I was saying. All right, this was a piece of cake coming down. Let's see about the way up. Got it in first gear, still four low. So it coats this ledge here. Smooth, consistent throttle. Make a little bit of left. Let's put the camera facing forward too, why not? Probably be good. No problem. Bigger rock there than I thought. It's a problem with visibility. <laughs> Easy. All right, now it's my turn. Though their engines and transmissions couldn't be more different, these two trucks wind up with a similar crawl ratio of around 51 to 1. This super low gearing delivers a ton of torque to each wheel at low speeds which is great for traction, but it's even better for control. Hey Carlos, looking at the map, if we keep going on this trail, it looks like we'll end up in a mine. What really surprised me about this truck is we thought it was gonna be pretty different than the Ram, and it is in a lot of ways, but it's not like these two aren't so dissimilar. Like the Venn diagram, you know, overlaps in more areas than you would think. This can still do a lot even considering its width. It's still really capable and it's still a ton of fun. When we first came out here, we had one trail all picked out, but the paved road got washed out. You know, the weather had other ideas. So we had to switch it up, but that's okay. You know, a truck like this, it's got the equipment to handle anything you can throw at it. And that's the thing. I just like to come out and explore and know that my vehicle is gonna be able to cope. Well, the weather prevented us from doing the trail that we wanted to do, but we still had a good time. Yeah, we found some pretty cool stuff out there. And we got to test some of the limits of these trucks, like the articulation, mm -hmm. how wide they are in some areas. Yeah, you found a few rocks. You know, we won't talk about that. <laughs> Tell me about the power wagon, though. You know, I thought it was going to be big and ungainly, but it's actually a lot more maneuverable than it looks like it would be. And it's got, you know, the credentials underneath. The Raptor, on the other hand, that thing's more like a sports car or pickup truck. Mm -hmm. It's been like that for a long time. Yeah, it begs to be driven wide open. Yeah, the Ram, you know, it feels more like a work truck. The solid front axle that's so great out here, you know, just doesn't feel so great on the freeway. And the steering that goes along with it, eh, it's a little bit wooden. Yeah, and then on the Raptor's downsides, Payload's pretty low. Yeah, I mean, the Ram Power Wagon, I mean, it's still a 2,500 truck, so it can do a lot of work. But overall, these are still some super rad trucks. Both of these trucks are equally capable over most terrain. So who's the winner? Well, that depends on the kind of off-roading you want to do. If you want to go fast, really fast, over dunes or through the wash, the Raptor can't be beat. If you're looking for more of a work-oriented rig, one that can confidently tow or crawl through unfamiliar terrain, then you'll find nothing better than the power wagon. <laughs>